so I tried to play Minecraft 1.16.5, a Minecraft version that my computer could actually run, or at least it's supposed to, because I'm getting this error when attempting to run it. My computer specs is a Cortulo E8400 with 4GB of DDR3 RAM, G41 motherboard, no graphics card, and Windows 7. It also works on Windows 10 by the way. And when I check on GPUZ, as expected, the culprit was the OpenGL. It's only 1.1 which is a problem because you won't even be able to run the alpha version of Minecraft. We'll need at least OpenGL 2.1 in order to run Minecraft 1.16.5. So how do you fix this? Basically, you just need to update your Intel graphics driver, but this is really important. Before you get to that, you need to first check what kind of Intel graphics that you have to find it. Just type run on your search bar, type the xdiac, hit enter, wait for a few seconds until it appears, then hit on the display tab. For example, mine is this mobile Intel 4 Series Express chipset family that came from a G45 or G43 chipset and has ported up to OpenGL 2.1, just enough to run the required 1.16.5. Keep in mind that any Intel graphics older than that, like a G31 chipset or below, won't be able to run it due to it's only limited to OpenGL 1.4, so you'll have to resort to following my other tutorial here that replaces the graphics to a software render called Mesa with up to OpenGL 4.5 that could even run 1.17. Bus, but it's gonna drop the FPS by a lot. Another great solution is to buy a graphics card like a GT210 or 9400GT that is really cheap and could run 1.17 plus with better performance but since I'm too broke for that, we'll just gonna update the driver. With all that in mind, let's download the suitable driver to update our Intel graphics. For that, open your browser, type the graphics that you see in the XDIAC and begin searching for its driver. Normally, you'll find the result immediately like this but in my case since it's too old, it didn't even exist anymore. This is why the bus manager won't be able to find it and said that we have the latest driver when in reality it only has the windows driver. So I had to resort on this guy that went through the wayback machine, what an absolute chat. There's 32 and 64 bit option to choose here, it's very important to choose the one based on your system. To check this, type system on the search bar and you'll find whether it's a 32 or 64 bit system. Also don't worry if you're on windows 10 because even if it says windows 7, it will work on windows 10 just fine. Click download on the one based on your system bit. And finally, let's install the update. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to explain some of the things I'm seeing here. So, here are the list of Intel graphics that work with this update anything from the 4D Express chipset to the first gen of Intel Core. Again, it's not gonna work for anything below the 4D chipset like the G31, according to the wiki page, since it's only limited to OpenGL 1.4. Hit next and do your best to keep your dopamine hungry brain to not do weird things and just wait patiently or do other meaningful real life things like touching grass. Now that it's done, it's prompting me to restart but before that I want to check if it's really changing and as expected the OpenGL is increasing from 1.1 to 2.1 meaning that we could now play 1.16.5 from now on. But I suggest restarting the PC for good means, so we're gonna do just that. Also takes quite a long time. Oh, actually, it is way faster than before. Oh, it's actually faster at loading. Also, in the settings, I'm only using 1.7 gigabyte of RAM because it's not actually utilizing as much RAM. Possibly at maximum 1.5, and it probably won't reach this amount. And let's see if it actually runs and not giving us errors like before. Okay, the menu appears. This is a very good sign. I think it's loading up the game. Oh, it is. Let's go. Wait, does it open to the menu? That's it. Oh, this is giving me some memories. I'm actually going to try to make a new world this time. Or specifically for this version. Tubo 1.16.5. Epic world. Okay, let's create that world. You don't see any mistake in my typing. It should be pretty long since this is an older version. The newer one is way faster to load. I kinda hate how it was back then because of this 100% mark finally. And see if we're actually utilizing the graphics of our Intel HD. And here we are in the world of our favorite game, the best game of the entire world, Minecraft, of course. If we type in F3, we're going to see that it's using the 
mobile Intel for Service Express Z family that I showed you before. If I'm using the 1.20, it shows Mesa, but this time it's actually Intel because we are playing on a version that our system are actually capable of. And this is what I want to show you. This is the OpenGL3 thing that I moved from this bin folder. This bin is supposed to run on the 1.20 version that isn't supported by my system. And if I were to move it back to the bin folder, it would have been very laggy even in the 1.62 version. I guess that's it for this video. I hope it helps you guys who have the problems when 1.16.5. And as always, see you guys in the next video. Bye and thanks and